So we have been involved as part of a broad program with you and you wider on a piece of work we are titling firm level research. Uh, and basically the firm level research uh, aims to get access to microeconomic disaggregated firm or individual level data which we use then to help with empirical research and obviously ultimately to inform policy. Um, so the, the work is basically looking at trying to increase the number of uh, data sets that we can use to do empirics and starting with administrative data, which is available in South Africa. We collect relatively good administrative data, but hasn't up until this point been used for any research purpose. So we've started with uh, tax policy, the tax, uh, sorry, admin, uh, tax authorities uh, administrative data, which includes personal income tax, company income tax, VAT data, et cetera. Obviously, the population is the entire country. It is all the firms, all individuals in, in, in South Africa that are, are registered for tax. It's that data. It has a number of variables which are very useful for any number of policies. We obviously have a lot of industrial policy, a lot of um, growth policy, a lot of agricultural policy, a lot of sector-specific policy, and we also have that we, that we try and support. And the issue is that we don't necessarily always have the data to, to, to really work out empirically whether these policies are either making any you know, inroads or whether they're actually based on sort of sound understanding of how the economy functions or individual firms or, or, or you know, individuals themselves uh, behave and, and how they, you know, what drives their behavior, what determines the way they respond to certain things or make decisions, whether it's invest in investment, whether it's employment, um, whether it's exporting, et cetera. So this, this work basically uh, is hoping to open up the set of microeconomic data, which will enable uh, research into areas such as productivity, determinants of investment, determinants of employment, determinants of um, you know, firm dynamics, whether their firms enter or exit, or, or, or whether they change from one particular standard industrial classification into another standard industrial classification. And it tries to dispel, let's say, certain myths about uh, the ho homogeneity of, of firms, that they're actually not hom homogenous. They actually behave in different ways, uh, depending on, on various factors, which may not be immediately observable unless you have the data. So it's to move away from anecdotal evidence, is to move away from sort of conventional wisdoms, if you like, and to really look in, in detail at, at what's actually going on. And it helps, obviously, potentially to, to test certain kinds of policies which may be in place, whether they're having an effect or not. The, the problem with existing survey information, which is often very rich, is that it's, it's not the whole population, so there are potentially sample biases. And there are also inconsistencies across years. So you can't necessarily have the same sample across years and, and, and observe a, a particular firm's dynamics over a period of time. So this information helps from that perspective. It is also Therefore, for researchers, the first time that they've had access to this information, so there's a great deal of excitement about it. And, and you know, there's a great deal of people having done lots of research in the past on a certain topic and not being able to have, you know, to see this information, to see whether it really applies at the kind of detailed, micro, disaggregated level. Um, and, and this is the first time. We get information from the South African Revenue Services. We then host it on secure servers with the National Treasury, and then we issue an RFP request for proposal for researchers to apply to research various topics, which have been looked at by both the technical panel and then also a sort of policy relevant panel, which comes from across government. Um, they're looking at this work in a pilot set phase just to prove concept initially, just to show that it can be done. Uh, without breaching any confidentiality issues, but they also have to provide feedback to the revenue service on various issues around the data. So the revenue service themselves can improve their own services, identify risks, you know, um, et cetera, understand the economy a little bit better and what their data, what, what's entailed in the data and where they can make improvements. The pilot set of research will then be, is, is actually has been presented in a number of conferences and will actually be turned into, into working papers which will be published on the UNU wider website and potentially also used in various sort of academic peer review journals. At the same time, it obviously is raising awareness that this data exists and that this kind of research can be done. 
So United Nations University also has a network of people who they access who have done this kind of work before in other countries, who then come in and provide, well, comments, let's say, on the research teams, which at the moment are, are South African research teams. So they can provide, they can say, well, this issue here, or this is a particular thing, or this is what the international literature shows in this particular area. And they're also working with National Treasury staff uh, internally to do another series of papers which are of relevance or of importance to us, which aren't in the, in the pilot phase themselves. So they've worked in this kind of data in, in, other, in other places, so they, they're familiar with the kinds of pitfalls, the kinds of things that has to be worked through in order to get a kind of meaningful result. But they're also familiar with the kind of path that has to be walked, let's say, to get to um, a situation in which the data can be shared at a much more permanent, regular basis, let's say, with researchers outside of just the, you know, the, the, the current pilot project which we're running in the Treasury at the moment.